What's up guys, I'm Kraziak, and welcome back to Undertale. Last time we got past Toriel, and there's no going back. Alright, let's go and exit the ruins into the next area of Undertale. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. So yeah, this is one developer. Yeah, I believe the entire game, including the music and everything, is one developer, which is pretty impressive, considering a lot of people praise this as, like, AAA, like, triple A quality storytelling. It's pretty remarkable to come from one person. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Also, this is all new to me. This is where the demo ended. It ended before you got in, out of the ruins, so this is all new to me, just so you guys are aware. There's a camera hidden back there. Why is there a camera hidden back there? That's kind of weird. Who is expecting me? Is someone expecting me to show up and say hello? Hey, a tree! I kind of like that, the parallax scrolling of the foreground. That's kind of... Excuse me? This is not supposed to be a horror game. At least I don't think so. It, I don't think it was categorized like that on Steam, but I didn't really... Okay, that was a thing. I saw that. No. <laughs> I know I saw that. Don't lie to me, bro. Don't lie to me. I saw that. It was there. You guys see it? I saw it. Hi. Are you a friend? You're a friend, right? Right? Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Okay. Sure. Do it. Hey, buddy. You're looking a little, uh... Looking a little skinny there. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion and the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. Get it? He uses Comic Sans as a font, so his name is Sans. Also, yes, I know I pronounced Sans because it's a French word, but I'm going to say Sans because I'm an English-speaking person. Yeah! I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but, you know... I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Okay. It is, wait. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm, okay. I don't have a say in the matter, apparently. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother. Oh, he's named after his font, too. That font is called Papyrus. It's hilarious. It's been eight days, and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang out around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect, recognition. I will finally be able to join the royal guard. People will ask to be my friend. I'll bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm, maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boom, dog. You get lazier and lazier every day. I mean, for a skeleton, Sans does look kind of fat. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton! Got him! What? Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. <sighs> right as someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition. Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone! Ugh! I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. Is he gonna say that? Backbone into it! <laughs> well, he didn't get a drum roll, really? A ba dump He didn't get. Oh, okay. Heh! Okay, you can come out now. I like how my character isn't even laughing, smiling, anything like that. It's just like, hey, I I'm the same as normal. 
You want to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. <laughs> that wouldn't be so bad. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Why? Why would there be bottles of ketchup, relish, and mustard sitting inside? That's just absolutely absurd. Actually, hey, I uh, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. But don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. But ahead is to the right. If, what, what? Whatever. Okay. Hey, a safe spot. Goody. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Yay! God. Hey, look, a chest! Use the box? Hang on. No, I'm gonna read the sign first. This is the box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Okay, cool. That's kind of handy. Yes. Um, I'm gonna put the pie in. Oh, I see. I can put all- I can put tons of items in. Oh, spider cider. So the cider is also made of spiders. I thought it was just a jug. I thought it just gave you a jug, but no, it, it has cider in it. Okay. All right. Okay, now we have to see what the new enemies are. Okay, a snow drake flutters forth. Uh, I could do a check on it and see, because there's check text for all of them. I haven't been doing it because I've seen all of it before, but this one is new to me, so let's check it out. Snow drake, six tag, but this teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. My favorite ice cereals, Frosted! Ha! 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 I'm gonna like this section, aren't I? <laughs> I love puns. It smells like a wet pillow. Okay. Uh, laugh or joke? I'll do laugh. You laugh at Snowdrake's pun. See? Laughs! Dad was wrong! Yeah, see, making a joke or heckling might have adverse effects, so I'm gonna... Okay, yeah, we're good. Just have to laugh at the jokes. You won! All right, I'm just gonna do this again because then all my items are in the box, They're in the box and safe, and I don't have to worry about doing it in case something happens. Okay, Ooh, a fishing rod. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in. Sure. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird-looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. You decide not to call. Wait, I couldn't make that decision. Maybe I wanted to call and be like, "Hey, dude, sup? How's it going?" All right, well, we'll just leave that like that then. So, as I was saying about Undyne... So how'd you get up ahead? You went the other way. Sans! Oh my god, is that... a human? Well, yes. Yes, it is. Uh... Actually, I think that's a rock. Oh! Hey! Hey, what's uh, that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! Undyne will... I'm gonna... I'll be so... Popular! Popular, popular! Ahem. A human, you shall not pass this area. I, the great Papyrus, will stop you! I will then capture you. You'll be delivered to the capital. Then... Then... Then the world? I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue. Only if you dare. <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. And I'll keep an eye, uh, eye socket out for you. Then what's that in your eye socket? He had a dot in his eye socket. If... Okay, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. He's too cool. I like him. Ring, ring. Uh, oh my god, help. I'd like to order a, um, a pizza with, uh, the toppings are, uh, I have them copied. I'll just paste them to you. Your phone is too old to receive texts. It reads out loud, character by character, an ASCII art of an anime cat girl. What? Why? <laughs> what? <laughs> Click. Okay, so apparently someone called pizza while there was a hostage in the house to send me ASCII art of an anime cat girl. The absurd levels are off the charts. 
there are no charts that can track that level of absurd. Ice Cap struts into view. What will Crazy Hat do? Ice Cap, this teen wonders why it isn't named Ice Hat. Okay, that's not that helpful. Where's your hat? Uh, okay, that's a thing. It's like helicopter. It's snowing dandruff. Okay. Uh, ignore... Yeah, ignore and steal sucks, so come on. You inform Ice Cap that it has a great hat. Envious? Too bad. Uh, what's this? Okay. It's firing stuff at me. That's cool. Ice Cap makes sure its hat is still there. You inform Ice Cap that it has, has a great hat. Envious? Too bad. Okay, so that was exactly the same as before. Huh. Here comes that new clothes smell. So... Pause. Because I could try and steal the hat, but I feel like that would not get me anything good. Ignore. Also not great. Ignore might be the right way to go. I'm going to check again, see if it has anything new. No, it has the same text. I thought it might have something different that changed. I just love my hat, okay? Not okay, bro. No, 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 no. No, you won't get me. Here comes that new clothes smell. So I'm going to try ignore. You managed to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. What? What are you doing? Uh, okay, so I'm back to this one again. Ice Cap is secretly checking if you're looking at its hat. And from Ice Cap that it has a great hat. Uh, duh, who doesn't know? Huh. Ice Cap is secretly checking if you're looking. And from Ice Cap that it has a great hat. My hat's too loud for me to hear you. Okay, I gotta try something else. Try to steal Ice Cap's hat, but it's not weakened enough. Help, fashion police! So how am I supposed to weaken him? Becomes the question. I have to weaken him enough to steal his hat. Ignore. You continue not looking at Ice Cap's hat. It seems defeated. Oh, there we go. Better a hatter than a hater. So yeah, this is how basically every fight is gonna go down. It's just gonna be me trying random shit until it works. Is desperate for attention? Well, here, have some attention. There you go, bro. Okay, so ignore was the right way to do that. Oh, did I, did I examine this? Uh, there's some narration on the side of this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. No, nope, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. That would be Papyrus. Spoilers. Absolutely no moving. Pretty sure we're supposed to move. Hi. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, now I'll make sure it never moves again. Okay, so he can only see things that move. Doggo. Doggo, really, with his, his double swords? He had a bone in his mouth too before, but I guess that's gone now. Doggo. Uh, check. Easily excited by movement. Hobbies include squirrels. Don't move an inch. Doggo can't seem to find anything. Okay, if I pet him, that might count as movement, right? Right? I gotta try it though. You pet Doggo. What? I've been pet. Petted. Pet. Petten. Pat, pet, pot, pit, pat, pot. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this game is hilarious. S something pet me. Something that isn't moving. And somehow didn't move while is petting me, even though petting requires movement. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. <laughs> Alright. What's this? Someone's been smoking dog treats, so that's what he was doing. <laughs> Okay, so I can't actually ring the bell or do anything there, so let's continue on. Hey, dude, sup? What's up, Sans? Hey, here's some important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? 
when fighting, think about blue stop signs. Actually, that's not bad. That's a bit of a weird uh, mnemonic, but sure. So, um, is the ice safe to step on? Well, except for monsters. Lesser dog appears. <laughs> pet, 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 pet. Let's try this pet. You barely lifted your hand and lesser dog got excited. Ah, that hurt, doggy. Be careful. Lesser dog is barking excitedly. That's a good doggy. That's a good doggy. That's a good doggy. All right, what does the sign say? North ice, south ice, west ice. East snowed in town. And ice. Okay. I just want to check north and see. Oh, there's a snowman up here. Hello, I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you be so kind, traveler, please. Take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Sure. Thank you. Good luck. Got the snowman piece. All right. Sounds good to me. So I got a snowman piece. What? I actually wonder. Uh, oh, what was... Dang it. What was it again? There we go. Snowman piece. It doesn't actually say... Uh, snowman piece. Heals 45 HP. Please take us to the ends of the earth. Huh. Okay. It doesn't actually say what it is. I thought it would say, like, carrot, button... No. It just says snowman piece. <laughs> You're so lazy! You were napping all night! I think that's called sleeping. Excuses! Excuses! Oh ho! Oh, the human arrives! In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles! I think you will find this one quite shocking! For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze! When you touch the walls of this maze, the orb will administer a hearty zap! Sounds like fun, because... The amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Okay. Uh, I think you wired that wrong. Sans, what did you do? Uh, I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. <laughs> hold this, please. Oh, look, it just lands on my head. An orb just lands perfectly on my head. Uh, huh. Maybe I should go uh, right, then left, then down, then north, and then spiral, and then dead. Oh, that was very risky. Whew. Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It's designed by my brother, Sands. Will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't won anything else since. He keeps calling it his battle body. Man. Isn't my brother cool? These two are so awesome. I love them. Let's see, this is a rock. That's fascinating. That's a tree. That's also a tree. That's fascinating. Hey, buddy. I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer. I have 82 gold. Would you like some nice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15 gold. Yes, please. Here you go. Have a super duper day. You got the nice cream. And do you anything else here? Ice cream is the frozen treat that warms your heart. Yeah, no, I'm good. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. I got enough nice cream. There's ice cream out in the middle of the woods. Okay. Hey, guys. Guys. Hey. Hey, guys. Hey, listen up. There's ice cream out in the middle of the woods. Just FYI. Okay. This looks like a giant pearl. Oh. Or not so much. Bip. 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 I see sands up there. I am going back. I just want to I just want to push this around a bit first. No, go down there. No. Down there. That way. Yep. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to Sans first and see if I'm supposed to be doing this. I've been thinking about selling treats too. I want some fried snow. It's just 5G. Fried snow. You mean water? Sure, why not? Did I say 5G? I meant 50G. Uh, I don't think I have 50G. Really? How about 5,000? 50,000, that's my final offer. What? You don't have the money? Hey, that's okay. I don't have any snow. 
Oh, that's fantastic. That's absolutely fantastic. Okay, so this thing reset itself. I'm just gonna push into the hole and see what happens. Bip. Bip. See, as a Canadian, I'm very familiar with that, how snow works. If you fry snow, like if you make snow very hot, it turns into water. Isn't that fascinating? I know, it's it's like this really not very well-known fact that if you if you do that, it will melt the snow and turn into water. Bip. Yay, I did it! I did it! Your concern and care for Ball led you to a delicious victory. You were awarded 1G. Okay, sure. It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow decahedron. Okay, I can't pick it up though. Oh, okay. Alright, fine. A decahedron has 10 sides. Human, I hope you're ready for... Sands? Where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, no. It's one of those things where we have to find the word. It's word search. I like how there's just a gibberish word in there, which is the, just the top row of letters. So can I actually do this? Can I? Oh, wait. Can I actually do anything with this? No, I can't click it. Aw, I wanted to actually do something with it. Sans, that didn't do anything. Whoops. I knew I should have used it as crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What? Really, dude? That easy peasy word scramble? It's for baby bones. Unbelievable. Human, solve the dispute. Which is harder? Um, 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 crossword. You two are weird. Crosswords are so easy. It's the same solution every time. I just fill in all the boxes with the letter Z. Because every time I look at a crossword, all I can do is snore. <laughs> I, I don't think that's how you're supposed to solve a crossword. Just saying that right now. Papyrus finds difficulty in interesting places. Yesterday he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. I've been trying to solve that thing too. There's no solution. Anyway, I think because we just got to... What? The mouse might f one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti. Alright. No questions from me. But anyway, that's all I got for this episode. I hope you guys are liking this game. I love this game. There's so many weird and unique characters. I mean, we just found a guy that sells nice cream. Like, it's just, it's so unique and awesome. But anyway, that's all for this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. You can check out some more videos over there by clicking on them. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. I've had 17 different kinds of cancer, so I was kind of expecting it any day now. Anyway, if I'm dead, then why am I still here and why do I have my shopping trolley? Oop. Bargain buys, more like bargain butts, am I right? You're no fun at all. You're no fun at all either!